I was a, I used to be a personal chef for a gay pimp. Um, I answered a chef job on Craigslist, and uh, I should have known because the posting was posted for this guy. His name was Sir Raven Arrow. That was his uh, his his Craigslist name. And. Uh, <laughs> He answers the door, he's like kind of big dude, crew cut, gold chains, bathrobe on. <laughs> and uh, I go into his apartment brownstone thing. Like I walk, I walk in there, he's got a nice apartment, he's showing me around. He's like, oh yeah, I have these dinner parties all the time. He's like, you can make whatever you want, there's no budget. He's like, I love North Carolina barbecue. I paid some guy the other day to drive to North Carolina, pick up a barbecue and drive him back and we have this dinner party. I'm like, great, this sounds epic. After midnight, we don't let it all hang down. Okay, you wanna come to the we don't check a love and shout. We don't stimulate some action. We don't get some satisfaction. We don't find out what it is all about. He's like, I'm gay. And sometimes, not always, but sometimes, I have parties with nude servers. Um, would that, you know, be a problem for you? And then I was like, uh, you know, and I'm like 20, I don't know, I'm like, uh, yeah, it, it, it should be fine. Like, I go home and I'm like telling my girlfriend, I'm like, does this sound sketchy? Um, what do you think, should I do it? And she's like, what are you kidding? Of course you should do it. Like, imagine what kind of a sick party this guy's throwing. There could be famous people there, like, you never know. Like, this is some sketchy shit. You should go, totally go see where this goes. And also, like, I have things to do, but I also have to be like, oh, really? Like, what you're saying is so interesting. And uh, he comes down, he's wearing like this see-through G-string with like chains on the side, and he's also like probably 120 pounds and hung like a dinosaur. The whole time we're doing this, the fucking phone's ringing off the hook. So I'm like, what the fuck is the phone ring off the hook here for? And then the manservant's like, oh, they're probably business calls. I'm like, business calls? And he's like, what kind of business is this, this guy in? He's like, well, you don't, you don't know? And I'm like, no. And then Max is like laughing. He's like, why do you think I'm like standing here naked? And I'm like, I don't know, dude's into some shit. And then, and then, so they're like, yeah, he's pretty much just runs a giant gay escort service in the DC area. So I was like, oh. When you teach people about food, when you teach people about wine, these are good skills they can use forever. If I taught you how to do CPR, you could probably go the rest of your life without ever doing CPR. But if I teach you how to order wine off of a wine list, you're gonna do that forever. So the big question is, did you get nude for either of them, or? I, I did. You remain clothed. No, I, I, I remain clothed. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, had a, I had a feeling Max was probably making more money than I was. Don't shake your tambourine. Don't shake your tambourine. All right. Yeah. Sketchy, sketchy shit. Why did you video that? Huh? Why did you just video that? Why what? Why did you video that? Why Ew. wouldn't you, Nerissa? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> What's wrong with <laughs> Super gross.